Hi there. Uh, my friend Lawrence uh, arrived here yesterday with a present. Uh, not quite as good a present as Gilles received uh, the other day. Um, a fantastic transceiver, but he arrived with this Livestar portable radio um, because uh, he felt sorry for me after my XH Data D808 blew up on me. Now, this radio cost the equivalent, cost 95 Brazilian rei, <coughs> which is about, I don't know, 17 or 18 pounds. Um, but it's quite interesting. It's obvious it's not gonna be a strong performer, but it's interesting because this is kind of typical of the radios you see for sale out in the sort of wild west towns of rural Brazil. It's Chinese, Livestar are Chinese. They're very well known, one of the biggest suppliers of electronics, uh, electronic um, consumer goods into South America. If you look at their website, it's just a list of sort of, I suppose, rather cheap looking um, radios and uh, audio gear. But this radio is it's sort of weird because there are, I think there are four different ways of powering it. It has a, it has a built-in lithium-ion battery which you can recharge and therefore use it portably without putting batteries in it from a mains um, cable. It has a 6 volt DC input socket so you can power it from a 6 volt DC source. You can put four D cells into it um, and power it that way or you can just run it simply off, off the mains power supply. So there's four, four ways of uh, operating this radio. Um, you can plug uh, an, uh, a flash drive into it with music on it, with music files on it into that their USB direct and then there are some buttons on it that allow you to pause play repeat rewind fast forward so what we call a flash drive uh, over here if you plug one into it you can actually operate uh, the flash drive from the from the radio and um, uh, and play music there's also an SD card slot I presumably for the same purpose uh, the band selector is horrendous the gaps it, it clicks across from FM to medium wave through to the nine shortwave bands, but you literally cannot tell which band uh, is selected. It's the, the, the setting, it's so close together, the way that the switch uh, operates. So you have to kind of, if you, want, if you want to select a shortwave band, you've got to push it all the way back to FM and then start counting as you click across. Um, it's really weird. The shortwave itself is actually quite good. It's divided uh, uh, into the broadcast bands, um, and so the band spread is pretty good. Um, but in terms of its actual performance, I'm not sure yet. I've just been listening to a signal from Havana, Cuba. Uh, Ray, Radio Club de Para from Belém is coming in quite well on the telescopic, but uh, other than that, time will tell. But uh, it'll be interesting to have a play with it for a few days. Um, so there you go. Livestar CNN 686RU um, and as I said this type of radio this is very typical particularly in the sort of the styling and the fact that it has USB connectivity you know it looks like it was built in the 1970s but it's got a USB socket and an SD card slot you just don't see this sort of thing in the UK or Europe or probably anywhere else um, designed and built for South America probably rural South America so uh, there you go um, I'll have a bit of fun messing about with this. Obviously not a replacement for my um, D808, but something to uh, experiment with for a few days. Okay, well, thanks for watching.